Finally, it's here. The brightest Phila 2 full color smart bulb yet. What's up guys and welcome to Top Shelf Media. So today we're taking a look at the new 1600 lumen full color smart bulb from Philips Hue. Now I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like I've been waiting for this bulb to drop what feels like forever and it finally happened Black Friday weekend. So I received a comment on one of my previous smart bulb videos stating that they picked up the 1600 lumen smart bulb and it just didn't seem quite as bright as it should be. So they asked me if I would take a look at it and I told them that's funny. That's what I'm planning on doing for my next video. So today, we're gonna run some tests on the 1600 lumen smart bulb and just see if it's as bright as they claim it is. But first, let's talk about this bulb. It's 1600 lumens, like I mentioned before, as well as 16 watts. It is dimmable using the app and has a white color temperature from 2000 to 6500K. It can be used as a Bluetooth bulb or with the Hue Bridge, and at the time of recording this video, it's on Amazon for $60. So go check out the link in the description if you're interested. Okay, let's go ahead and get this bulb unboxed. All right, so this isn't gonna be anything groundbreaking. It's fairly simple. Uh, Philips Hue doesn't put a lot in their package here. Um, so let's go ahead and just get this opened up. We have the bulb and some paperwork. That's about it. The rest of it's just in there just to keep the bulb in the same spot when it's in transit. It is bigger than your typical Philips Hue bulbs. Uh, you'll notice that here in a second. Actually, let me grab another Philips Hue bulb real quick. Okay, so this is the 800 lumen. These are the original full color Philips Hue bulbs. This is the 1600 lumen and you can see there's quite a size difference here. So you want to make sure you know that when you're putting this in a lamp or whatever, they still say on the box, you shouldn't put these bulbs in an enclosed fixture. Um, I've done it in the past. This bulb here actually doesn't work anymore because I did that. I did a video on that. Check that out. Open the YouTube card here. I'll link that up there. Um, but this is the size difference, so when you're putting this in a fixture or something, you just need to know that this bulb is gonna be a little bit bigger than the original bulbs. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bulb added to the app. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. I've done it a bunch of times, so if you really wanna know how to go about adding a bulb or really any Philips Hue product to the app, I'll go ahead and link something up in the YouTube card right here that has that in the video. Okay, so we have the bulb added to the app. It's on and ready to go. Next to it there, I have the LifeX 1100 lumen smart bulb, and that's from a previous video that I did where I compared the LifeX 1100 lumen bulb to the 1100 lumen Philips Hue bulb. And in that video, we compared brightness, and LifeX was the clear winner, even though they're supposed to be rated for the same lumens. Now, we are just going to be using this 1100 lumen bulb just for a frame of reference, because in all honesty, the Philips Hue bulb should be brighter. It's 500 lumens more. but I can't say that for sure because we really haven't tested it yet. So let's go ahead first though and look at the Philips Hue bulb just like we would any other bulb. Okay, so when we're looking at the app here, the response time is very quick. I mean, from the time you move your finger to change the color to the time it actually changes is fast. Now that has not much to do with the bulb itself, more of the app being able to make that response time quick. but. I do think that that's one nice thing Philips Hue does have. But here we have our whitest of whites. We can bring that up and make that very yellow, an unnecessary yellow, I think. I don't, I don't believe I ever have anything like any higher than probably right there. I, I don't know if that's true or not. But let's go ahead and look at colors because once you start changing to RGB, the brightness of these bulbs drops significantly. So we're gonna look at that here. So I'm ready to go. Let's just go ahead, we'll start with blue. And as you can see, it got much darker in here. That's to be expected. That's with almost any smart bulb that does RGB. Um, I mean, I'm not really gonna count that against it. Really where they count the lumens, in my opinion, is in the whites not in the RGB. So let's go ahead. Blue looks good though. In person, this looks really, really nice. Come up here, go to purple. I think that looks pretty good. 
moving up to red. I think actually red looks better on camera than it does um, in person, but it's a lot brighter in person. I just think the color looks better on the camera, but in person it's bright. It's a bright red. Uh, let's come over here and go to yellow. Obviously yellow is going to be fairly close to then what you would get if you were going like a really yellowy white. Um, but um, yellow doesn't look too bad. And then let's go to green. And again, the green actually looks fairly bright. I'd say the darkest color on this bulb is the blue. Even this light blue color looks pretty good. Darkest color is definitely the blue. It makes the room not as bright, but it still looks pretty good. Okay, let's switch this back to white now. Uh, just kind of a more manageable color. And again, that's really bright. In person, it's almost hard to look at. And I'm, again, these are all my opinions. No one's paying me to do this review and no one's paying me to say something. This is what I think and what I see. So this is actually a very bright bulb. I will give it to them. Okay, now that we've seen the Philips Hue bulb by itself, I decided let's go ahead and we're gonna turn off the Philips Hue bulb, leave on the LifeX bulb, just so we can see what that looks like by itself. And this is a completely dark room. I don't have any other lights on in this room. So this is our only light source right now. And if we look at these bulbs side by side and alternate which one's on, I believe we can see a clear winner here. And in my opinion, I'd have to say it's Philips Hue. Now that's a 1600 lumen bulb compared to an 1100 lumen bulb. So is it 500 lumens brighter? Well, that's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it. But all we were really doing with this test was just making sure Philips Hue was delivering the brightness that they claimed to be delivering. And I think that's the case. Okay, so all we're really doing here is looking at the progression that Philips Hue has made with these bulbs. So starting at the left, we have the 800 lumen bulb, and then we have the 1100 lumen bulb, then the 1600 only white bulb, and then of course our 1600 lumen full color bulb. Now if we transition down to the 800 lumen bulb only, you'll see it's pretty dark. This was standard when Philips Hue first came out with their bulbs. This is what you got, and it doesn't look great. In comparison, you know, when it first came out, it looked awesome. Now with the other bulbs we have, it's very dark. Let's go ahead and transition to that 1100 lumen bulb and it, it got brighter. They did a fairly good job of making this bulb brighter. It was not a huge step. It's not that much brighter, but it is brighter. It looks pretty good. Let's transition then to the 1600 lumen only white bulb. Now this is, you get what you get with this bulb. You can't change the color. You can't change the white color temperature. You can't do anything with this bulb other than dim it. So this is kind of what you got and it's actually very bright. Transitioning then to the 1600 lumen full color bulb and you still get that brightness with this bulb. It looks really good. I will say in this test anyway, the 1600 lumen only white bulb does look a little brighter than this full color bulb. But that'll put a wrap on this video. Like I mentioned before, I have links down in the description if you guys are interested in any of the bulbs that we talked about today, they'll be right down there. So go check those out. Those are affiliate links. So if you do buy a product using one of those links, you do help support my channel at no extra cost to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and ringing that bell to get notified when I post new content. If you like this video and want to see more videos from me, YouTube thinks you'll like that one right there. So go check that out. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.